right in front of the Simon Bolivar Cultural Center so they're just speaking to the audience talking about their mandate saying why they're there pushing for action from the government and from the people of Jamaica and with me right now we have Ras College Lafayette he's the spokesperson for Kingdom of Debrisie and I just want him to tell us what this group is all about and how does it fit into this march today Okay. This group is a member of the it is an institution created by the, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, which its purpose is to let Jamaicans become aware that the reason that they have unjust laws and they have no say in the laws that govern over them is because they are run by a constitution that was written up by the Queen and her Privy Council at Buckingham Palace in 1962. Based on that fact, whenever a decision is made in government, the people are not considered and the benefits are gone back to England. The Queen is not indigenous to Jamaica. Therefore, she has no legitimacy being a governor or head of state over this island. There is no law, no, no principle, no nothing that she can use to say, I have a right to be a government over this island. So therefore, we the people must speak out against her and her unlawful constitution and her representatives because we cannot get justice through the representatives that are under oath to the Queen. We cannot get justice from those people. They are not, you cannot represent the people and represent the Queen at the same time. You don't have two masters. All right, so what do you and the other protesters here hope to accomplish via this march? By this march, we hope to get the people aware that they're, 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 many people are in fear, basically. And we want them to know that it's by their opening their mouths and expressing themselves and their rights and their wills that brings change to this society. Nothing else will. If you remain silent and hope that one day a click of a finger will fix everything, it will never happen. It takes us, the people, to come out and speak out and shout out and deny, deny the queen, denounce the queen from being. She's a criminal. We have to call her what she is. The queen is a criminal. She has no legitimate right to be a governor over this island. And that is the basis of all the rules that and the tyranny that is taking place and the injections and all of that that is poisoning our kids. It is because the queen is still the governor over this island. And we the people have absolutely no say in nothing that is being done. We don't know what the government is doing today. We don't know what they did yesterday. We don't know what they do tomorrow. In this time, there should be an app that connects us all to our government. There should be an application that connects us all to our government. Whenever I think the government is supposed to operate or do any work or any action, then it's supposed to be given unto the people as a notification and they should give a response or their, their will concerning such things. So what the people need to denounce the, system, the current system because the only correction is a replacement of the present system. And this is Enzinga King, guys.
everyone have the right for an effective remedy. Human rights is protected by law. No one is above the law. You and burglar, that is what is coming to Jamaica. The new and burglar, that is what we are undergoing. The new and burglar, the Nazi Germany law, that is what is coming to Jamaica. The Nazi Germany law, the new and burglar, take away our rights, our our freedom of speech and listen, we are not saying no to vaccine, we are saying no to mandatory vaccine. That's all we are saying. Do not no. We are saying no to mandatory vaccine. Not matter, not no to vaccine. No to mandatory vaccine. No to bully him. No to bully him. No to dictatorship. Freedom of speech. No, that's what that's what, that's what we heard. Yeah. That's what we told. We told we was gonna have freedom of speech, right? And freedom of movement, right? And there's not all of that that now has been taken away because of what? The government bow to a system, a system that is afraid to put its head on the block to die for his people. And that what that is what is he's a coward. He's a coward, not he alone, but all of them are cowards. Cowards, 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 cowards are done. That's it. No, friends of the city, for me, I want to give some instruction. So I want to know that you are hearing what I am saying. Yes. So I want you to listen clearly. My name is Steve Ogil McGregor. Quiet everybody, quiet everybody. I want quiet everybody so that you cannot say I did not inform you. Why do you have high powered weapons? Why do you have high powered weapons? Why do you have high powered weapons for a peaceful protest? Why? Chief, it's a peaceful protest. Why? We have told, I am going to say, if you choose not to listen, it is going to be your own detriment what comes after. I said to Mr. Patterson before war theater that the gathering that he had there was unlawful. It was unlawful in various realms. He had no permission from the police to gather in the way that he did. He got no permission to so march. Hold on. He has permission to be a, to have a peaceful, peaceful demonstration. I told him he identified himself as the leader before me. He said that to me. And I am here to testimony to you. Some of you were there and saw. I pointed out the breach to him. He has now been arrested to be prosecuted for those breaches. He has also went on to say that he intends to march on Parliament, which he has no right to do, which is a scheduled place. We are going to investigate that intention. So that also is one of the reasons why he was arrested. We have to have some permission from the police process. We have to have some permission from the police process. We have to have some permission from the police process. We have to have some permission from the police process. We have to have some permission from the police process. We have to have some permission from the police process. We have to have some permission from the police process. We have to have some 200 yards for that. Listen to me. After I have spoken, those of you who want to move, you do so. Or else we are going to move you. We are telling you now to disperse from the vicinity of the station. You are too close and you are posing a threat to our station. You are all the night in a military mode with your force No, no, Mr. Mabrega. Can I hear you? 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 So can you move? No, so can you move? 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 Can you Mr. 
As you can see, they are telling us to move away, so we are unable to go back into the realm where everything is happening. So we're just waiting and see what will happen. As I said, it's about being safe, even as we get to you all the coverage that you need. You think we can reach one of them? Like, I'm going to get the police. Make me there. Hello. I'm going to say that. So, I'm going to make your friend first in front of the camera. So, if you see it, it's. We're going to go to the camera. Mr. Atwood. Hold on. Mm -hmm. 